Welcome everybody, Dan Geralmo Boomer here. This is the first live event pulling the winners from all over San Diego County to the first KB Vision uh, live get together. We are here on top of Mount Helix, La Mesa, and this Mount Helix was dedicated for the inspiration and use of the people, and I think that's appropriate for where we are. Plus, when you look out here, we have an incredible view of, this, of a city that is in need, uh, both uh, financial needs as well as a, a, a spiritual ministry in sorts. Any case, it is my distinct pleasure today to introduce to you a friend, a mentor, a longtime colleague, somebody who I've always respected, who always did what he said he was going to do. And uh, Joe Norman's here from Worcester, Ohio. He's built a significant KB business. And when he called me, I did not hesitate to pay attention immediately and then take action because he's the kind of guy that will help others develop leadership within themselves and in turn develop leadership in others as they go. And it's my distinct pleasure to welcome my friend Joe Norman. Thank you, Boomer. Hey. Thank you, Boomer. All right, you want to cut Terry and we'll do the switcheroo here. <laughs> Okay, well, it'll be that way. Okay, got that clipped on. Uh, clip that in here. I'll go ahead and clip it on there so we can see it working. Okay, we're going to get started here. I want to thank everybody for taking time out of your Saturday morning to join us up on the mountain here. We are going to to cover a lot really quickly, so if you want to take notes, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, first of all, a little bit about me. I uh, live in Worcester, Ohio, as Dan said. I uh, formerly played with the Seattle Seahawks until a series of injuries cut my career short, moved back to Ohio, got into business, and have been uh, in business for 25 years now. So. One of the things I do professionally is I day trade gold and silver mining stocks, primarily that sector, and have been doing that for several years now and kind of got in, in that game probably a year early, but kind of stayed with it. And as the market started to falter a couple years ago, it certainly uh, paid off nicely. So when this first came across my desk, this opportunity with KB Vision fascinated me and fascinated me to the point where we really started doing a lot of due diligence, turning over stones, and uh, I, I take no, no pleasure in saying, but it is true, I have been fooled before, and companies not being who they present themselves to be, so we probably did a little bit more due diligence than most people, and actually after turning over enough stones, we got far enough across the bridge of belief to actually engage and develop a, a, a closer and closer relationship with management over in Germany. We're going to cover the history, growth, and development of KB uh, in, in the next few minutes, but uh, just to kind of finish up about myself and why I'm involved, we, we have an, an interesting period of time historically that we're living in financially uh, with the markets, with the Fed, with, with the U.S. dollar, with, with the stock market. Um, a lot of things are happening now that people need to know about. I think the worst thing people can do in this environment is to glide along with good intentions. Those are the people that get run over. Those are the people that lost money when the markets nearly collapsed uh, a couple years ago. And we think that that was just a, a, a glimpse of what's coming in the future. You know, they were able to bail out the banks. They were able to bail out the financial institutions. And how did they do that? They did that by printing trillions of dollars of money and giving it to them, which <laughs> is just a, a Band-Aid on, on a big bleeder. So we're going to go ahead and get into uh, the reason why I think people should take a close look at this business model. Uh, in fact, when we show this to people and do it properly, I say uh, it's a yes waiting to happen. There's a lot of reasons why people consider opening an account with KB. Who needs an account with KB? Anyone with a checking or a savings account. Anyone with a checking or a savings account needs an account with KB, they just don't know it. Now, we're going to get into the reasons why they need an account with KB. First thing I want to talk about today is market fundamentals. 
Right now, as we speak, we've got a government that has run up unprecedented debts. We're 14.4 trillion. You know, it used to be billion was appalling. 14.4 trillion dollars in debt. And we just passed law in, in Washington through Congress, Senate, and signed by the president where they raised the debt ceiling another two plus trillion dollars. Most people don't know what that really means, how that's going to manifest, but what I really am fascinated by is how the markets react to things like that. The day, the Monday, Congress passed that debt ceiling limit. In two minutes, gold shot up $25. The market clearly spoke. The next day, it was passed by Senate. In 20 minutes, gold shot up $42 an ounce. Clearly, the market has spoken. The floor traders, the institutional traders, they clearly knew what that meant. And what it means is they know, and we know, and we need to let other people know that the government is now going to print out of thin air another two trillion plus, it might be more, dollars and inject them into the into the system into the banking system just like they did a couple years ago so that is a fundamental reason why the price of gold is going up and should continue to go up another reason is and and as a day trader and people that are into trading and and, and into the stock market know about technical reasons reading charts and if you look at a 10-year chart of gold, a 5-year chart of gold, a 1-year chart, a 3-month, a 30-day, and even a 1-day chart, you see when you see higher highs and higher lows, not just higher highs, but higher lows. So you've got a line going at the top and you've got a line going in the bottom. When they're both going up, that's a strong technical indicator that the price wants to go up. No guarantees and nothing ever goes straight up or straight down. Am I going to get alarmed if traders take profits Monday because gold was up, what was it up Friday, $32, $33 an ounce? This week it was up significantly. Um, we've never seen price increases like we've seen these days. We've never seen the volatility like we've seen these days. But clearly, the market has spoken. In the last three weeks, over $2 trillion has left the stock market. Floor traders, people that aren't holding for the long haul, they're clearly liquidating their paper assets. They're selling their stocks. They're selling their bonds. And where are they going? Where's that money going? You know, the only asset class that has consistently gone up in those three weeks, just one, gold. Not even silver. Silver is stuck in a channel between $38 and $42 an ounce. Silver touched three months ago an all-time high. There was a sell-off, and it hasn't recovered. And my interpretation of that and a lot of analysts that, that I subscribe to and listen to, a lot smarter guys than I am, they say that the market has clearly spoken. They are recognizing gold as an alternative currency, not silver. So it's important to, un, you know, you run into a lot of people, well, I think I'd, I'd prefer silver because it has more upside potential. I used to think that too. I don't anymore, and nor, nor do a lot of very smart people. So time will tell. So the, the, uh, the Dow and the U.S. dollar are both down. Gold is up. And inflation is up. A lot of people believe what they read when the government says inflation is running between 25 and 3 percent. Well, that's discounting, and they don't even count core inflation. Core inflation is the things that you buy every day, gas, groceries. They throw that out. Well, we can't count that. So they're manipulating the numbers to lead the sheep to the slaughter, to make them believe everything's okay. Real inflation's running over 11%, maybe even higher. So why savers are losers, if any of you have a computer, go, go on to uh, YouTube and, and YouTube Robert Kiyosaki and, and watch his little segment on why savers are loser, losers. It's fascinating, but it's common sense. And what he's saying is if inflation's running 11%, and you're gonna, put, you're gonna save money and put it in a bank or buy a safe CD, 
and get a whopping 2% or 1.7%, well, if inflation's running 11% and they're paying you 2%, who can afford to lose 9% just for banking privileges? It just doesn't make sense. So savers are losers in this environment. So if you're going to stay ahead of the 11% erosion of the U.S. dollar, this is going down in purchasing power. It's gone down 42% in the last 24 months alone. 42%. So it takes 42% more of these to buy the things that we need to function with on a daily basis. So inflation is there. The Dow, the U.S. dollar has reacted to that. Um, gold has reacted to that. The question is, are you willing to be proactive and position yourself that if you, the inflation continues to worsen, which we believe it will, for fundamental reasons that we just discussed, we believe that the price of gold is going to continue to go up because the U.S. dollar is going down. It's going to take more of those dollars to buy gold. So. We're encouraging people to be proactive because we know the people that glide along with good intentions, they're the ones that get run over if things continue to worsen. We are recommending an account with a company called KB Vision. Why are we doing that? Well, for one reason, it's free to open an account with KB. Works just like most online banking institutions, just very similar to, to a Schwab account or an E-Trade account. You open an account, it's free to do that. Then you fund your account, and then you're able to exchange paper money for gold. I'm not going to hold it, hold it up for the camera here because it's so small, but this is, this is a little one gram bullion produced by KB. And actually, uh, in 24 hours from Thursday to Friday, that little bullion went up $3.05 a gram. It went from, from 80, almost 82 to o over $85 a gram, and I, it's the biggest one-day move that we've ever seen with the gram price. And, and, and a, an asset like gold is worth what the market says it's worth. You know, gold coins, gold bullion and ingots that are not 999.9 kinobar grade, they went up and, and that's the price that you see on the news and on sites like Kitco and things like that. And non kinobar grade bullion went up to 1852 and that's where it is uh, as we speak and the markets will open Monday and that could go up or down. But that's a, 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 an ounce price of 999.9 non kinobar grade bullion as quoted by the market. That's what the market says it's worth. But the market says this gold is worth over $2,400 an ounce. If you do the math, $80, $85 or whatever the spot price was, I have it written down here uh, Friday, I can't remember, I think it's either 84, almost $85 a gram. Take that times 31.1, there's your ounce price. So the spot price for 99.9 .9 kinobar grade is actually set now by two institutions, UBS and KB. They're setting the spot price. And interestingly enough, the, the kinobar feature of, of KB's bullion, the, the, uh, the kinobar hologram was actually patented by UP, UBS. I don't know if any of you know that, but we looked into the history. Uh, of, of the hologram and, and learned that UBS, the Union Bank of Switzerland, one of the largest financial and conservative financial institutions in the world, they patented the Kinnabar hologram. Why'd they do that? They did that to create a form of bullion that cannot be counterfeited. This is the only bullion in the world that cannot be counterfeited. Coins can, bars that are not Kinnabar can, ingots, you have it, they can all be and are from time to time counterfeited. This is the only non-counterfeitable form of gold bullion that exists in the world, and there's only two companies that produce it, UBS and KB. So the market says we're willing to pay more for that feature. Like yeah, it, it says, yeah, good analogy. I like to use an analogy. Again, people by nature avoid what they're not familiar with. Here's the analogy I use. A Chevy Malibu, your car, it's a car. A Mercedes Benz is a car. They're both cars. One's worth more. 
one retains its value, one the market says we're willing to pay more for. They're both cars. A gold coin is a, it's gold. A gold ingot's a, it's gold. Any non, -can it's gold. This is gold too, but the market says this is worth more. And interestingly enough, in the last 30 days, non kinabar grade bullion, I haven't revised my numbers since I left to come out here, but before I left, not the, 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 the previous 14 days, non kinabar grade bullion went up 5.5% in value. That's this price. But kinabar bullion went up 8.1% appreciated in value. So what that's telling you is it's appreciating in value. At the end of the day, I had a conversation with a gentleman two weeks ago. He had $50,000 and he said, convince me I should buy all KB bullion with that instead of coins. And I said, okay, and then I and I and I tracked the numbers and I gave him gave him gave him this and this this story. I said, let's let's just take your fifty thousand at the top and let's divide it by two. Take twenty-five thousand dollars and buy whatever coins you want. And the other twenty-five thousand dollars buy the, the gold from KB. And we'll see how, if you'd have done that fourteen days ago your coin pile would have appreciated 5.5%. Your other one would have appreciated 8.1%. You tell me which is a better. You want the cheaper stuff that's going to, it's going to appreciate, it's going to move with the price of gold. But the market says that this is going to appreciate. So one reason is smaller, more transaction friendly weights. These are accepted as currency at over 7,000 locations in Europe as we speak. And KB's 25th company of the, of the KB group is a merchant program where you're going to actually be able to take everyone that has an account with KB has a gold account, and that's where your bullion is parked, and that's where it moves with the market. As the market moves up and down, your gold account goes up and down in value as well. So what that tells me is if inflation gets worse, which we think it will, your gold account will go up in value. Why? Because you're leveraged to gold. And you'll be able to take that gold account and purchase products and services from merchants and vendors all over the world that want to be a part of this because with this program you're going to be able to pay for products and services with gold instead of with cash. Very possibilities. So let, let's move over to KB talk a little bit about their history, growth and development, and then we're going to transition into, into some, some more reasons why KB. KB, in case you're wondering what the K and the B, it stands for capital and business. Capital in German language is actually spelled with a K instead of a C like it is in English. And capital and business, they uh, have an interesting history and actually is a network of 25 companies. And they first started doing business about 18 years ago under the KB banner. And they initially started out in the financial industry, and then they started a company in the insurance industry. They have a, a, a derivatives and arbitrage trading d division, uh, uh, companies within the financial network. Uh, nearly four years ago, they decided because along with us keep their fingers on the pulse of what's going on with the worldwide economies and currencies and they decided to start leveraging their portfolio acquiring some assets in the precious metals industry so KB in in Turkey and a short time later they founded their own private refinery not far from that mine and in, in uh, the next uh, a couple of months, they also purchased and they have a 99-year lease on the second largest gold mine in Russia. And by the way, they haven't pulled one single gram of gold out of that mine. Uh, most of their, most of their uh, raw materials is coming from the refinery and the scrap market, a little bit from their, their mine in Turkey. Uh, K, KB has the ability to produce right now about 50,000 of those one gram units that I just held up and showed you per day and they have the equipment and the personnel on hand right now to ramp that up to 500,000, half a million a day, if and when they need to. So our job is to go out and, and create new locations to where we can move this product to the consumer 
And that's what we're all about. We're looking for people that are looking for uh, possibly a, a, a way to, to, to hedge their portfolio, just like KB did by owning some, some precious metals, as well as we're looking for people that would like to multiply their capital and, and take advantage of this move in gold prices to the upside as well as participate in the referral rewards program. They have a robust pr uh, program where they are willing and able to pay uh, customer acquisition bonuses of up to about 950 US dollars at 670 euro and right now one euro is worth 1.44 US dollars so you do the math if you have a calculator somewhere around 950 dollars when you are able to acquire a new customer for them that does a monthly dollar cost averaging plan that's where the cab bonus comes into play and they also pay uh, uh, commissions and, and residual income of up to five and a half percent. When you find a customer that just wants to do a one-time purchase or maybe a periodic pur purchase. There's also two global bonus pools that are uh, very exciting that uh, reward top producers. So uh, we, we have uh, seen people in Europe that have been involved in this program for three plus years make some pretty impressive commissions and we're uh, just in our third full month of commission cycles here in the United States. They're launched in uh, almost 40 countries now, United States and Canada included, and we are able to open an We're able to purchase gold, we're able to take delivery if you want, or you can store your bullion in their vaults in Switzerland, your choice. People again, buy and get involved for, for two reasons. And we one of two ways and the way I look at it is I, I like to hedge my my portfolio by owning some physical gold and as gold price goes up you're going to make money there your gold accounts going to go up in value so that's one way to make money and as you refer others and tell other people that about this fantastic program and they they get some skin in the game and, and exchange some paper money for some gold money you're going to get a referral reward and as your referral rewards accumulate and multiply you're able to do what I did last month I actually took half of my commissions and told them exchange it for more gold put it into my account store it for me and that's what I did and the other half uh, I took in cash that's one of the unique features about this program you know with KB's program no one I repeat, no one spends any money. You're just exchanging paper money in your left pocket for gold money in your right pocket. You're exchanging money that's going down in purchasing power literally every day for money that's going up in purchasing power almost every day. So one's going this direction, the other's going that direction. That's a pretty strong and compelling reason to get some gold from KB. And of course the other compelling reason is for people that would like to to increase their income, create an account as an affiliate and refer others. Get this information in front of people and you will not nor will they be disappointed. So I think at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass it back to, to, to Dan Big Boomer and, and he's going to share uh, a little bit about how you get started once you set up an account and then what you what you need to do to follow our simple three-step approach of uh, 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 of putting this in front of as many eyeballs as you can because you know with this opportunity you truly can't say the right thing to the wrong person some people just do not get it they have eyes but they can't see they have ears but they can't hear they just don't get it they say things like, well, you know, I think the government will get this fixed and they're never going to let the banks fail and so on and so forth. But, you know, <laughs> a lot of us think differently. For those people, you can't say the right thing. But, thank God, there is a large and growing sector of this population where you can't say the wrong thing to the right people. All you have to do is get the tools in front of them, just like I did, Boomer, just like most of you. You saw it. You get it. You set up a free account. You start exchanging paper money for gold money, and that's what makes this whole thing work. So at this point, back to Dan Geralmo.